Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Batita Rosa, and now that roughly translates in Spanish into pink smoothie. Now, the cocktail that I'm making today was created by Jeffrey Morgenthaler, a very well-known Portland, Oregon uh, bartender who's well-known for putting his own spin on things, usually called the Morgenthaler Method. Now, as I understand it, this was created while he was at the Bellamy in 2007, and you can find this recipe directly on his website, which is where I'm using the recipe from. Now, you will find a few variations of it, but it's totally up to you. Now, it's a simple shaken cocktail, and Jeffrey says that most of these cocktails of this style you'll see are something that is actually put in a blender and blitzed up. However, this one is not, so it's gonna be really interesting to try out. So we're gonna start with a little bit of lemon juice. And what we will do is we will cut this in half, measure it one ounce or 30 mils, and pour it into the glass. Our second ingredient is pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice. Uh, use whatever you can get your hands on. Just try and get something that is unsweetened because you don't want to add any extra sweetness to the cocktail. And you'll see why as we get a little further along. But we need a total of one ounce or 30 mils. Your next ingredient is a simple syrup. And I mean a one-to-one -one simple syrup being one part water, one part sugar. Heat it up until everything's fully incorporated and away you go. So we don't need a lot of this. We're going to use half an ounce, which works out to 15 mils. Our next step in the equation is to use some grenadine. Now, Jeffrey says that we should use some homemade pomegranate juice grenadine. However, I don't have any. And like a Philistine, I'm gonna use roses. Use what you can get and get your hands on. Don't let it stop you from testing a cocktail out and seeing if you like it. So we're going to use three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half mils. We're now going to add our base spirit. In this case, it's cachaça. Cachaça is made from sugarcane juice and it's absolutely fantastic. Usually it gives you a slight vegetal odor, but it's really easy to drink. Now I'm using Novo Fogo which is 40% ABV. We're going to do a full pour of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Our next step now is to fill your glass with ice and to shake this good and hard for approximately 10 seconds or so. And make sure your glass is filled out all the way so you can get the proper chill and dilution that you're looking to get. Make sure you put this on really solid because you don't want it to come off. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. All right, pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons that you used, put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a 12 ounce tulip glass. Use whatever you like. And what we're going to do is fill this with ice. So use whatever you have. You could even use a good crushed ice because it would work really well with the drink, not that piece of course. Uh, it would work really, really well. And then what we'll do is we will fine strain this to keep out any lemon pulp or uh, little chunks of ice. That looks absolutely gorgeous. And if you're wondering if maybe I've got not enough uh, cocktail in here, we are gonna top this with about three ounces or 90 milliliters of uh, soda water. Now I'm using Canada Dry, you could use Schweppes, you could even use something that you do yourself, but just top it on top. Now this looks a picture of beauty right here, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a little bit of a stir, just to incorporate everything to give us an even layer of color all the way across. And now what we'll do is we'll garnish this with a lemon peel that I've pulled earlier. We're just going to roll this up a little bit and leave it just like, <laughs> not like that. I'll make it look good for a picture, I promise. All right, anyways, having said that, let's try it out. Mm, really good. You get that initial hit of the uh, cachaca to your nose, but it's lightly sweet. It has citrus flavors. It's absolutely an incredibly easy cocktail to drink. If you like drinks like this or cocktails, take a look right here.